happy Monday, happy Tuesday to y'all. So we, I am on the way to work. Kendall doesn't have to work. Say morning, babe. Good morning. So I'm frustrated, number one, that I have to work, but it is what it is. And it's so distracting because when Kendall doesn't have to work and like people are at home, the more that my mind isn't at work, I'd rather be at home with my family and stuff like that. So let's just see how this day goes. Hopefully I have another good day like I did on Friday with 10 sales and everything. Really trying to finesse and do my best at work. Um, so yeah, see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm finally back home. Today was such an unnecessary day of work because there was barely any work to do the whole time. So today just completely what's the word I'm looking for come today just completely lagged and it made the day seem so long because it was nothing to do but anyways I just realized we have not done the couples Q&A and I don't really have content for today so Kendall and I are going to answer the questions for y'all ready babe yeah. okay so the first question says okay I clicked on this video so fast I thought you were going to say you were having another baby laugh out loud yes that's a serious laugh out loud but what are your goals for this year Okay, so plain and simple, my goals are to be a good wife, to be a good mother, and to be a good employee, and a good Christian. What about you, babe? To provide for my family and be successful. Hey, all right. Next question says, do you think if you didn't get pregnant, you would have gotten married? Absolutely, because if you've been watching me for a while, you already know that marriage was already the goal from the very beginning pregnancy had literally nothing to do with us getting married I know. okay and then somebody said i'd like to add on to that question and ask if if you think y'all got married faster because of pregnancy or was it or was the courthouse wedding something you both already had in mind so we knew we wanted to get married but i refused to walk down the aisle with a huge old belly Number one. Number two, I didn't have time to really plan a wedding. So, and we wanted to be married. So, that's why we went to the courthouse. Anything you want to add on to that? Uh, I agree on that. Okay. What made y'all move to the state that you're currently in? So, I moved here because I wanted to move to North Carolina for the longest time. Kendall? I've been there for six years. So, just dealing with football in school. So, just stuck it out until I um, finished school and I walked across the stage. But... Sky's the limit. I'm waiting for that. Okay, what has surprised you about your differences in parenting? So, to answer that question, I'm going to say Kendall's more gentle with Mason. I'm not, like, super rough or anything, but literally, like, he's really, really gentle with her. Really, really gentle. Anything you got to say? Facts. Anyways, did y'all, did having a baby put a strain on your relationship or life goals? No, not for me. Kendall? You said that I have any life goals? No. Did the real, did having Mason put any strain on our relationship or life goals? Oops, I just unhooked my bra. Oh, no, I know. Okay. If y'all could travel anywhere you wanted to, anywhere you wanted to go, where would you go? Right now, I would want to go to Vegas. That's a good question. I don't know. Vegas has been on my mind lately. Like, I don't know why, but... Bahamas or Hawaii. Okay. What do you think about Donald Trump? I don't think about Donald Trump. Next okay. question. Okay. Where were you guys planning? When were you guys planning on buying a house? So it's not set in stone where we're going to live. We don't even know if North Carolina is going to be our forever home. So that was some of the reason why we didn't think about purchasing a home. Um, I think right now, for me, I don't see that happening until I know for sure, like, okay, we have our set jobs. This is where we're going to live. And then I'll be thinking about buying a home. <laughs> really, babe? Yeah. Would you be comfortable or let Kendall take Mason to his family without you at her age? Yes. Kendall's her father, so why not? Um, how do you deal with family members who don't agree with y'all decision to get married? Block and delete. Yeah, the crazy part about it, they still try to come around. I don't know. We just, we, we really don't. Like, I mean, it wasn't too many people that didn't support anything that we have going on right now. But I mean, to me, it's just like, they see it as I'm still in school. She working, she out of school. And it's just like, 
oh, well, you still in school, how are you gonna do this? I managed three jobs, 18 credits, you know, for one semester, and I came out with a 3.6, well, 3.4. 3. Mm, it was 3.6. Uh, 3.6, so I mean, there was no excuses. So, I do what I have to do, provide for my family, so I don't see what's the big deal about it, why are you stressing about it, because you're not stressing. Like I said, there's not too many people that really don't support what we got going on. So, yeah. Anyways, tips on how to reach your life goal. Prayer. Kendall? I said tips about reaching my life goal. Prayer? No. That was the answer to my to the question. Oh, my life goal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Talking to the big man upstairs. Okay. Do you guys plan in the future to move? Yes. Yes. We can't stay in this one bedroom apartment no. forever. What advice can you give me and my fiance on relationship? Um, communication is definitely key. Don't go to bed mad. The ones who pray together stay together. Great advice. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Back in the gym, but we're alone. But we brought Mason. Say hi. Say hi. So yeah, about to get on the treadmill and put Mason right here next to me as I work out. Okay y'all, so I just burned 100 calories on the treadmill. Now I'm about to get started on the bike. And I just thought about it because I know somebody's probably gonna mention, why did you bring Mason to the gym? It's probably not safe. The gym is safe. One of the things we were gonna come down here and see if anybody's here and literally it's one other person. So if there were more people to come, we obviously wouldn't bring her in here. The only reason why we brought her down was last night, my mom was here and she decided that she wanted to watch Mason all night, but apparently she fell asleep. So my grandma watched Mason all night and Mason didn't sleep. So we want to give my grandma some time to go to sleep because I want her to be well rested for tomorrow since both of us will be at work. So I just wanted to take, take you know, let, let her have a break from Mason because basically when we went out Saturday night, my grandma watched Mason. Um, she was up with her all last night and everything. So anyways, I'm about to let me finish one sentence. So that is why Mason's here. If anybody's gonna ask, she's safe, literally. Like I said, there's only one other person right here. She's right next to me. Nothing's wrong. So anyways, about to get started on the um, bike. Last week, my goal was to burn 100 calories every time I came in, and I ended up going over that goal. Now this goal is to do 200 um, calories. So I just did 100 on the bike, about to, I mean 100 on the treadmill, do 100 right now, and then something else. All right, so I've only burned 30 calories on the bike so far. I've done 1.35 miles, so I'm doing it. Mason just fell asleep. About to, it's almost time for her bath and bed, bath, bath anyway, but she really hasn't really been sleeping. So I know she's gonna sleep good tonight. While I'm at the gym and on the bike, I'm literally answering, answering emails and um, promoting and doing a lot because if you all notice like I can't really promote throughout the day because I'm at work from 9 to 5 so usually when I'm in the car and if I'm not driving I'm promoting on the way to work I promote during my breaks and stuff like that it's hard but I'm really dedicated to this and I really want to do this so pretty much when I get upstairs and once Mason has done taking her back Kendall and I are going to finish answering y'all's questions and then and then finally upload the vlog and then I really need to get Kendall's video up because that was actually supposed to be up yesterday. Y'all, if you haven't noticed this, Drea has like no time to do anything. Like, it's a lot. And while I was at work today, I was busy planning, like making a list of the things that we need for the wedding. And in between doing work, I'm like looking up limousine companies and all this other stuff. So, pray for me y'all. Finally did it y'all, 101 calories, so I burned 201 calories. She loves me. <laughs> Back to this Q&A. Okay, the next question says, who does Mason favor? What's been your favorite part about being a parent? So first let me say, my favorite part about being a parent is just, I don't have a favorite part. I was about to go into something that's not true. I really don't have a favorite part. Like. I love every aspect of it. I mean, I even love the fact when she throws up on me. I know that's weird. I love changing diapers. I haven't gotten tired of that yet, and maybe I will in the future, but what's your favorite part? Laying down with her, or watching um, football or ESPN with her. Spending time with her. Who do you think Mason favors more? 
really think she favors Kendall's more, Kendall more. But then I really feel like it depends on what day it is too. Because yesterday I was on FaceTime with her while I was at work and I'm like, dang, you look just like me. So it really depends. Do you guys want any more children? Yes. Love you guys so much, love you too. What did you and Kendall find most difficult about starting life as, an, as adults? Oh man. Yeah, paying bills and then it's just like knowing that you just don't really like not trying to neglect my wife or her and that saying that she don't pay bills, she pay bills too as well, but like just even before I met my wife, just paying bills on your own and everything without parents help and stuff like that. So I mean, Right. Because I didn't really start I didn't I I wouldn't consider myself an adult until I moved to North Carolina because I had my family's help while I was in college. Granted, I worked and did what I was supposed to do, but still, it, I still had their help. But anyways, so the hardest part will have to be taking care of our bills and knowing like even though our parents are the type of people that will open their arms and their doors to take us in if we said we give up, we want to go back home, but just knowing that, you know, we can't just leave our responsibilities. You know, if I wanted to quit my job right now, there's a lot to consider. Whereas back in the day, you know, it was just like, oh, I'm quitting my job. I ain't even gonna call in. But anyways, next. Um, do you do YouTube hurt does YouTube hurt your relationship? And Kendall, how do you feel about your family being on the internet? I refuse for YouTube to hurt my relationship. If it got to that point, I literally my my vlogging camera would be down then i would continue with content videos but if even if that did too much my channel would be off how do you feel about your family being on the internet i mean i don't have no big a deal with it because when we first started talking to her you asked me that question for me being on the internet i mean i don't have no problem with it owl slash when did you know each, each other was the one also could you give me and could you could y'all give some advice on living with your significant other? Me and my boyfriend just moved in together recently. So I knew Kendall was the one even before we got together. Um, and the advice that I would give is just make sure that y'all talk things out. Don't just be so quick to get mad at one another and not try to resolve the issue. Kendall? I say we mm -mm. use the one. Like we stay up. Late night on FaceTime, I'm trying to look at you, but you pointing me to the ceiling and talking about something you don't want to have your face in that dag on, on the um, in the camera and uh, on the phone. So now that we just have all night talking, it's, it's expressing ourselves about everything. And then our first time going out, my first time meeting you, it was on sight. And what advice do you have to give to her and her boyfriend? Pray. Okay. What is the hardest part about marriage? Dre has Dre has said she doesn't want another baby now. What about you, Kendall? So I would say the hardest part about marriage is honestly, I'm so I'm such a girly girl at times. Like I love my pink. I love to decorate my room in a certain type of way. And being married, you have to realize you can't just have a pink room. It has to be gender neutral. It has to be something that your husband is comfortable in. So that has been the hardest part for me. Said, um, What's the hardest part about marriage? I just have to, uh, like, I'm not trying to sound uh, selfish, but like, uh, I say you try to manage, like, like sharing stuff, like sharing wise, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you warm up to that stuff. Okay. Like, I'm trying to explain. You don't like sharing? No, I love sharing, <laughs> but like, it's just certain things. Like, I'm, we have the same food, and she asks, can I get some of your food? I don't do that. I ask you for something else, but I won't ask you for the same thing. Anyways, I said I don't want a baby now. How do you feel about that? I don't want a baby in this year. You say you want one at the end of this year? Anyways. Hey, y'all. Love you guys. Love you, too. Do you guys ever plan on saying your vows again and having a bigger wedding? Yes, we are in the process of planning that right now. Look for us in 2018. What was Kendall's reaction when you told him about the pregnancy? So Kendall was excited from jump. It took me a couple of months. <laughs> How did he handle slash support you from the final moments before the delivery? Honestly, Kendall has been there every step of the way. Honestly, like 
even to the point that when I was throwing up, Kendall wanted to be right there by my side. I hate throwing up so much that I feel disgusted with myself that I never want anybody around me. So I would let him around a couple of times, but in the dark. I threw up in the dark almost every time, didn't I? Yeah. Anyways, and then, yeah, so. Oh yeah, and if I threw up in a car, I was in a cup, so I, I just hate throw up. Kendall was just there, let's just put it that way. What are you guys feeling towards Muslim, Muslim people? I respect them. My friend was Muslim. I mean, yeah. How did y'all meet Instagram? What are, the plan, what are your plans for 2017 and what advice would you give married couples? I love your channel and I'm in the process of starting one. Don't forget to purchase a coaching session. My plans for 2017, we pretty much went over that in the beginning. And what advice I would give married couples? Just talk everything out. Don't be quick, so quick to make rash decisions and don't go to sleep mad. Anything you wanna add? Okay. How did you guys hand, how do you guys handle disagreements? What's your favorite thing about your spouse? Who will be the disciplinarian in the relationship? Um, we already pretty much handled, talked about how we handle disagreements. We don't go to sleep mad. We talk things out, even if it takes more than 15 seconds to talk about it, we will discuss it. My favorite thing about Kendall is, there's a lot of things I love about Kendall. How forgiving he is. Like, I can honestly say somebody can do something to Kendall that I feel like is trifling, that I will automatically cut that person off and Kendall will constantly give those people chances. What about you? Uh, I love the fact that like you, you open and you very spontaneous. Like you down for if I say maybe we can move to Alaska or Germany or something like that, you down for whatever. So you basically a ride or die. A. And as far as who's who's the disciplinarian, I will say that both of us probably won't handle a lot of crap from Mason. So it's not gonna one, one person's gonna handle her all the time versus I think we're gonna be hand in hand with that. 